Hello and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. In this episode, we're going to work on adding a freight hub to our map. It probably won't service the entire map, but it will at least get this region and a lot of the cities around here. So the goal for it is because we have a lot of sort of final resource production factories around here, such as the tools factory, construction materials plant, and food processing plant. We can bring them all into one area, probably somewhere on this peninsula here, because that's relatively empty. And then from there, we can send out long trains that'll deliver some or all of those materials to different cities. So. In this case, Arlington, we could send a train that has tools and construction materials. If we wanted to go to Louisville, we could do the same thing for tools and construction materials. Knox or Mesquite, we can do food and tools. Huntsville, we could do construction material and food. And that that type of thing. So we'll bring all of those resources here and then send them out most likely by train. Maybe for the closer cities we could do truck or potentially boat if it makes sense with the river. But anyway, let's get into it. In this episode, we're pretty much just gonna place everything down. Uh, we won't be connecting anything up to any cities quite yet, but the first thing we'll wanna do is to flatten out this whole area so we can place down a very large train station. Alright, so now that we have this whole area pretty flat, we'll want to have a station with probably six platforms, as big as it can be, and we'll make it high speed just in case for future expansion. And we'll want to line it up with this river just so it makes it easier when we connect boats and other things to the area. We'll put this down right about here. Now we'll want to connect this up with a road just so that we can bring in truck deliveries. So we'll use a four lane road because this could be getting quite a good bit of road traffic. So we'll come in here, bring it probably to about here, and then we can curve it around. We'll probably want to raise it up so that boats can get underneath. If we get it in the right spot, I think that'll be okay. And then we just need to connect this up to that road there. So now we have this in here. We can place down a truck station. We'll want it to be fairly large, so we'll do two platforms on each side and make it 20 meters long. We'll give it some space for eventual expansion right there. And then we will want to add a cargo arbor, probably a large one, somewhere right around here, so that we can bring things in by boat. And now we'll want to flatten out a little cutout for the harbor. There we go. And then smooth it all out. And then we can place it down. All right, so that's been placed. And then we'll need to get a road that comes by and connects right up to this. So that's good there. Maybe we need to make it slightly longer. 
maybe just curve it away a tiny bit and then connect it up. And so we want to start thinking about the sort of connections we'll have, which will be connecting to this tools factory and this construction material plant. So to get there, we'll probably want to connect this road over to here. So we'll just simply follow the river. We'll follow it pretty close just so we give the train track some room. And then we can connect up right there. All right, so now we have our infrastructure laid out. We will want to add some lines to bring in the tools and the construction materials. So we'll come over here to this road depot. We've unlocked a few new trucks, so we'll just pick the one that works best for us, which I think will be this, this one, because it can carry tools and construction materials. And we'll get eight trucks on a new line that runs from the tool factory down to the freight hub. And we'll want to make sure that we come in here and configure the station to have an extra platform and make sure that this gets its own terminal in here. And then we'll do the same thing for the construction materials. We'll buy probably eight of these and make a new line that goes from the construction material station down to the cargo hub. And then we'll want to do the same thing down here, configure the station, add a new platform, and make sure each of these gets their own terminal. All right, so that's tools and construction materials done. Now we just need to figure out what to do with this food processing plant. It still has plenty of room to grow, so I think we could definitely add more input to it. And I think the best place to get it from might be up here, just because it has two farms right next to each other we can really get a lot of production out of this. So we could add a train station up here. And we can see it does get both of those arms. And then down here, we will obviously want to expand this station because it will be getting a lot bigger trains coming in here. So we'll bring it down a little bit and then add a bunch of cargo platforms. We'll go through and fix these little mistakes. There we go. Now I'll go through and connect up the track and the signals and we'll be back once that's done. All right, so we have all of the track laid and signals. We can see it cuts across the road here and then splits off and we have it going across a bridge next to Clearwater here, just so it allows for the city to expand and we won't block off any of our bus traffic or any private traffic coming through here. It'll still allow for the city to grow sort of naturally and then it comes in all the way over here to the station. All right, so as for the train we picked, we went with the 4664 Alco Challenger. I believe this is one that I got from the Steam Workshop, so this might not be in the regular game, but now what we can do is set up our new line all right, so we have our first train heading over with some grain. And hopefully our other train here is also getting along quite nicely. 
So now, I think that's going to be all for this episode. In the next episode, we will connect up this food processing plant to the cargo hub. We'll probably bring it in my train. If not, we'll figure out another way. And then hopefully we'll set up one or two lines to some other cities. So that'll be really exciting. I'm really hoping this all works out. I haven't really done anything like this in, the, in this game yet. So it should work. And the benefit of this is it will help us clean up a lot of these train lines and extra routes that we have. Because once we get this, we can get rid of this train line that runs to Durham, as well as the construction materials line that runs up to Durham. And we can run that all on one train track. And same with other areas, we can start to eliminate a lot of this excess track that we have. And that'll help clear up some space for our eventual high speed passenger train network that we'll hopefully be getting to in a couple of episodes once we unlock some faster trains. But for now, this is going to be our project. It's very exciting and I hope it works out. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any feedback or suggestions, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.